Level two, word 46, reconcile. Welcome to Word of the Day. Thank you for coming to the daily word show that I do. My name is Ben Jaja. You're here because you want to learn a word. Um, I'm here in Hawaii. Captain Cook Monument is right behind me. I'm in the Captain Cook Bay Bay, as they never say. Um, thank you for coming to the show. Right now, if you want to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. If you come here again and again in a diurnal way, you're going to learn a lot of words. You're going to have your vocabulary is going to expand and improve. You're gonna be able to communicate better with your friends, your family, yourself, your fathers, your daughters, your rabbis, your priests, uh, your school executives, as well as your counselors. Uh, so it's a great place to come and learn more words. I just read that the English language has one of the biggest vocabularies of all the languages, and we use only 500 words 90% of the time. So we're communicating with only 500 words 90% of the time, in every single system I've noticed, communication seems to be the one thing that could improve everything. Relationships, business, ethics, and others. Just communication is great. Not only that, but as an artist, I feel like it's important to communicate what's going on inside of here, out there, and having a larger vocabulary, an arsenal at your tongue tips will help you be able to express your art better, share it with friends, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. All right, enough about all that. Captain Cook Monument is behind me. I swam to that two days ago. It was a lot further than I thought. I got to the monument and then in the rocks, in the black rocks, I found these large black fins that someone had left there. And I knew it was my opportunity to swim back because I, I don't think I would have made it without the fins. And let's get into today's word. Level two, word 46, reconcile. To make friendly again, restore friendly relations between, settle, resolve, bring into harmony or agreement. Reconcile comes from the Latin reconciliare, to make good again, restore, repair. When estranged partners reconcile, they make their relationship good again by restoring it or temporarily good again until the resentment that builds up over time shows up and then they have to have another conflict, hopefully a new resolution. When two parties in a dispute reconcile their differences, they settle them and just throw one big party, right? Why are we having two separate parties near each other? You know what I mean? Let's make it two parties turn into one party. What a better idea, that's a much bigger party. Sorry, when two parties in a, in a dispute reconcile their differences, they settle them and restore friendly relations. The corresponding noun is reconciliation. A settlement, resolution, the act of restoring harmony or agreement. Reconcile also has two other useful senses. It may mean to bring into agreement, make consistent. The jury found out it was hard to reconcile the defendant's confession of guilt the night of the murder with his profession of innocence during the trial. Oh, I'm just so over these sentences that he does. They're all like either law jargon or business stuff. It's just so unvery creative. Reconcile may also mean to resign oneself to accept something undesirable. Ah. Nancy didn't want to live with her mother-in-law, but she reconciled herself to it and tried to get on with her life. Why, why would Nancy be living with her mother-in-law? Oh, maybe it's like an older situation. I see. All right. Uh, let's throw reconcile into a sentence. The tuna fish man reconciled his differences with his wife after he got so much tuna fish, he shared it with his whole community and his wife went, he's not such a narcissistic tuna fish man after all. Reconcile. All right, that is our show for today. Thank you for coming to Word of the Day. I appreciate you being here. Like this video right now to help me out. Subscribe to the channel so help yourself out and come back tomorrow for another word. And uh, I think that's it. I mean, I think I'm going to go for a swim when it's time to go because you just really got to go and you should go swimming. Just go because it's time to go. Okay. Ah!